Right, so we are inviting a prominent personality. So here, look at here. I should have written my uh, my our address, the school's address. Of course, this particular letter would go on school's letterhead. Thereafter, date having left a line. Thereafter, the address of the person. And again, leaving a line, and we begin the letter even before salutation. We wish him or her the time of the day, and thereafter we begin the <coughs> salutation. There is, dear Doctor Roshan S. S. Jahal, and <coughs> these particulars have to be punctuated, or. I, I also have an option of not punctuating. Either I punctuate all the particulars. That particular format is called a, uh, in that particular format of the letter. The particulars are closed, wherein each particular is punctuated. So I write 14th May, comma 2019. Put a full stop over there. Closed. Dear Doctor Roshan S. S. Chal, comma closed. All right. Or I can leave it unpunctuated. That's an option. Modern trend is leave the uh, particulars of the letter unpunctuated, and everything is left aligned. There is the paragraphs are when you paragraph you leave a line and then begin right at the margin. Begin right at the margin. So it would gladden you to learn that the year. 2019 marks 70 years of glorious existence at Four Scholars Home, All India Senior Secondary School, Dehradun, the oldest CBC school in Dehradun, and this Saturday, the 18th May, 2019, 6 p.m. onwards, we are celebrating its Founders' Day, when we reward excellence and creativity in self-expression. This is one way of uh, opening the letter. It kinds of opens up. I kind of or we open up, open ourselves up to the person who might not know us. So I could have worded it. There are so many other ways. I could have begun by describing the exact location of uh, Scholars Home and uh, the excellence its alumni has uh, achieved. And uh, mentioned also that mentioned the number of years that we've been imparting quality education. Thereafter, we <coughs> right for this very special occasion may we request your kind self to honor us with your presence as our chief guest for the day. It's a courteous. Uh, it's loaded with courtesy and uh, politeness. Your presence would lend the special occasion the appeal befitting the event. This of this phraseology is not can is is picked <coughs> after a lot of reading, reading, ready-made letters, reading official correspondence. We would be especially honoured if Mrs. Roshan S. S. Chal also accompanies. That after maybe also request you to join us for dinner after the function. See, I could have clubbed these. We could have made join and join these two sentences to make one paragraph. However, this separating them actually talks of our intention of lending each important uh, piece of information its due importance, giving it. The importance that it deserves. So, each important piece of information comes in separate lines. In anticipation, you are sincerely, and the name of the principal. This is not the standard way or the only way to uh, address this particular uh, situation. Not necessarily. There are so many other ways. So many other ways. So. <coughs> If you read official correspondence, an official correspondence is to be found in is to be found in newspapers or in uh, magazines or 
เป็นอะไรเอวอร์ดิคอลพับลิเคชันส์แต่เดฟินิทลีนอร์ในเดอะเรดี้เมดเดฟินิทลีนอร์ในเดอะไกด์ส์และอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอีกอี Contextual, and they have to be used in that particular context only. And it is this trick that I have to learn of picking up relevant phraseology and pasting them in a pertinent situation, as the situation demands. So, again, it all boils down to. Reading, reading will uh, reading not only ready-made letters, reading comprehension passages. Because when I when I practice comprehension passages, I'm again on a lookout for phrases. Uh, and my intention of tackling a comprehension passage, besides tackling a comprehension passage, when I read a particular passage, my first intention is priority is to pick up relevant phrases, words. See what particular word has been used to describe which particular situation, which particular phrase has been used to describe what particular situation, and see if you can recollect those and use those pertinently. That is the trick. That is what is going to help. Because official correspondence describes uh, demands formality. 